Okay. Na-apprehend na, na-prosecute na, may lawyer na siya, meron ng trial na ng nagawa, na sentence na ang ating pangusado, may probation officer na magkahanda ng pre-sentence investigation, and then, the offender, if convicted and sentenced, will be committed to penal institution until the parole board grants him parole or be released if he had complete, completely served his sentence. Kung siya ay nag-probation, tapos niya yung condition, tapos malaya siya. Pero pag siya ay hindi qualified doon, siya ay sa institution, isa-serve niya ang kanyang sentence. Pwede siya makalaya, number one. It's either ma-opleto niya ang kanyang sentence, isa-serve niya. Pangalawa, pwede siya mabigyan ng parol. Pag Pasko, mag-oplet niya ang one-third ng kanyang sentence. Tapos, I mean, parol, tapos pwede rin pardon, pwede commutation of sentence, conditional or absolute pardon, etc. Sa mga political naman, amnesty, with concurrence of the Congress. Nakalin niyo, yun yung mga types na binibigay ng executive clemency. Ang dati niya ng correction. Pwede ka aralan niya sa correction. Okay? And then, finally, the convicted offender, once sentence is served, will be sent back to the mainstream of society. Ang tawag doon, re-integration. Happy class? Yeah, yan ang summary ng buong criminal justice system. Outline na yan. Diyan pala, pag binasa mo yan, hindi yan mo, alam na sa patungo ang bawat proseso sa bawat pilar. Kami, pero syempre, general, let's go to specific about time of content. The first pilar, the law enforcement agency. Police. The agency of the community or government that is responsible for enforcing the law, maintaining public order, and preserving and detecting crime. Preventing and detecting crime. It is also known as a prime mover of the CGS, or it initiates the CGS through or by arresting the offenders. Okay? Kaya prime mover siya, or initiator siya ng criminal justice system. Apat na rest. Gagana na yan. Next. Let's see the evolution ng policy system in the Philippines. During the pre-Spanish regime, iratin, bago pa dumating ang Spaniards para sa ubing tayo, ano ba ang kalagayan ng Pilipinas sa kanyang police system or policy system? Glimpse lang ito. Headman or tribe leader mandates all male residents in the villages to protect their crops from wild animals. Yan na yan. Common yan. Tribal pa nun, di ba? Or mga headman. Inumpli ka lahat ng mga lalaking nanginirahan sa kanila, sa kanilang village, para patentahan ang mga pananim nila mula sa mga wild animals. As I... Uh, discuss kahapon sa inyo. Now, during Spanish regime naman, nung duma na nakarating sila dito through exploration, dumating ka Spaniard, the police force was considered part of the military system by the Spanish government. Kaya nung magkaroon tayo ng PC, ganoon na set up natin. Constabulary, di ba? Part ng military ang police saka lang yung pinaghiwalay nung nagkaroon ng PNP. Kaya ang PNP, according to 6975, ano siya? Sipilan in character, national in scope. Nandaan nyo rin yan, ha? Kasi may puwag ko, sa pula rin parts na ng military. Now, function to during Spanish regime, suppress brigandage by patrolling unsettled areas. Detection of spies as well as local vending of 
Baka may mga naging espiya o mga local Pilipino na gusto maaglas. And enforcement of tax collection and church revenues. Di ba pa na mga private? Ayon kay Rizal, yung mga umihingi ng mga buwis na nangangkam pa ng mga lupa ng mga Pilipino. Diyan yan. Trabaho din yan during the Spanish regime. Next, police force under the Spanish regime. Meron tayong tawag na Carabineros de Seguridad Publica or the Mountain Police established 1712. It is responsible in carrying out the police or the policies of the Spanish government. Guadrilleros. Familiar? It refers to the body of rural police organized in every town. Okay? It was created by Virgil Royal Decree on January 8, 1836. It was composed of 5% able-bodied male inhabitants of each town or province which has the new service of three years. Okay? Able-bodied men, 5% three-year service. Ang trabaho nila, guard municipal tribunals, patrol, guard prisons, guard mountains or guard mountains or buildings, city mail, and maintain peace and order. Next, Cuerpo de Carabineros de Seguridad Publico. Habit na pangalan niya, no? It was established on December 20, 1842. Judice nila, prosecution of lawbreakers and maintenance of peace and order. A specific duties, watching and guarding custom houses. Magsakan ng mga produkto, aling para na naman yan, mga shipping companies during that time. Prevention of entry of contrabands from other places. And then, a sikat, guardia, civil. Police organization created by virtue of royal decree on February 1852 relieves the Spanish peninsular troops. Sito, mga Filipino na ito. Nakalain nyo, Filipino troops during the Spanish government. Nung tinanggal na yung mga Spanish peninsular troops, yung mga suma sumako. Consisted of Filipino policemen organized originally in each provincial capitals of central provinces of Luzon. Okay. American period. Please take note of the important dates during American period. July 18, 1901, the creation of Insular Constabulary by virtue of Act Number 175. July 31, 1901, Manila Police Department or the MPD was organized by virtue of Act 183. October 3, 1901, Insular Constabulary was changed to Philippine, yan ang kinagis na natin, Philippine Constabulary ng Police natin by virtue of Act 255. January 2, 1942, First element of the Japanese Imperial Army, Mananato, called Kempetai, entered Manila. Yung Kempetai, nag-aapis sa morning sabi na. February 7, 1914, o oh 45, sorry. General MacArthur returned to the Philippines and the Battle of Manila ended. The man who said, I shall return. Oo, oh, yeah. Important dates na yun, important personalities in the Philippine police history. William Howard Taft, first civil governor of the Philippines. Kaya may tayong Taft Avenue. Captain George Curry. Bakit meron tayong Chicken Curry? Hindi, dyan ko lang. Baka sabi dyan natin. The first chief of police now, MPD. MPD is the establish of the American na. Kaya sila yung unang uh, chief PNP dyan. O chief police dyan, I mean. Captain Columbus E. Payat. 
last American ship of the MPT before World War II broke out. Bago bombahin ng Japanese Imperial Army, mga kamikaze ang Pearl Harbor. Grabe yun, no? Napilayan ng Amerika doon. You watch that, ano? Yung movie na yun, ganda, no? Captain Henry T. Allen, the first ship of the Philippine Constabulary. Okay? Next, General, or Brigadier General, Rafael Crave became the first Filipino ship of the Philippine Constabulary. Yung PC na kinreate ng America ay after ni Allen, the first ship ng American PC, ang first Filipino ship naman ay si Brigadier General Rafael Crave. Kaya yung ating General Headquarters is Camp Crave, named after the first Chief of PC. Colonel Antonio C. Torres, the first chief of the MPD when it became all Filipino police organization. Bakit all Filipino kasi kinreat siya ng Amerika at Amerika ang unang pinuno dyan. Okay? Sino yung unang chief dyan? Si Curry. Okay? Colonel Marcus Ellis Jones, the first chief of police of Manila Police Department upon the liberation of Manila from the Japanese Imperial Army. Nung matapos ang digmaan ng Amerika at saka ng Japanese, Filipino Japanese yan, ang unang naging chief ng MPD ay si Marcus Ellis Jones. Colonel Alberto D. Habalera, the first chief of MPD, under the Republican government of then President Rojas. Kima. For you. Next! Related laws that you must under, you must take note. Republic Acts number 4864. It was enacted on September 8, 1966. It created the Office of the Police Commission, which was later called Napolco, under the Office of the President. Okay? Its function is to oversee the training and the professionalization of the local police force. Next. BD-765 It was enacted on August 8, 1975. The law provides for the NAPOLCOM be under the office of the Military Ministry of National Defense. The Public Act 6975 Ito, mahalagang 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 it was erupted on December 13, 1990, year before I will be born. It is otherwise known as the DILG Act of 1990 or the Police Act. Tawag din dyan, di ba? Police Act of 1990. Kasi nga, dyan ang police. Yeah. Abolish the PCINP. Ano yung PCI and IMP? Integrated National Police. Pinagsama si PC, tsaka si IMP, at pinanganak si Philippine National Police. At under that same law, pinanganak din ang BMP at BGMP. Nagkaroon ng Tribe Bureau, kaya tawag din dyan ay DIMG Act din. Awalin nyo? And of course, the PPSC, a young training school, nila. The Public Act 8551. It was created on February 25, 
which amended Republic Act 6975, it otherwise known as the PNP Reform and Reorganization Act of 1998. It provides for the reformation and profession, professionalization of the PNP. Kinakailangan ka ng maging bachelor's degree para ma-qualify ka sa police service. Yan ang panas na yan. 8551. Theories in police service. We have continental theory. Ano yan? Ang police, during this theory, is under or the servant of the higher authority. Ang pinagliling ko sa continental theory, yung mga leaders, yung mga hari, yung mga nanonungkulan sa gobyerno. That is continental theory. No? Theories of police service. Number two, we have home rule theory. The police are considered as servant of the community. Hindi ang leader na, hindi ang community ang pinagliligulan ng police. Powers and function ng PNP. O, oh. Tignan nyo, kahit na medyo mabahaba, kinakailangan sa isa ito. Enforcement of the law and ordinances relative to the protection of lives and properties. Yan ang law enforcer sila, tagapagpatupad, tagapag-implement ng batas. Not just that, tira pa kayo They are the one to implement and maintain peace and order. Tsaka ako. Uh, continental theory, ang theory na yun, ang police ay naglilingkod sa higher authority. Ang home rule theory, ang police ay naglilingkod sa community. Asa tayo doon? Ano tayo? Ano theory tayo doon? Home rule. Very good. Tama. Home rule tayo. Ha? Maintenance of peace and order and take all necessary steps to ensure the public safety. Okay? Exercise the general powers to make arrest. Ang police lang ang merong arresting power, ha? Other law enforcement din na merong silang jurisdiction. Okay? Pero primary, the prime law enforcement agency in the Philippines is the Philippine National Police. Search and seizures in accordance with the Constitution and pertinent laws. Kinakailangan may search warrant. O, tanong ninyo niyan, meron bang expiration ang warrant pa pa rin? Tenez! O, sa amin, Nag-ibati pa kami dyan, mga panahon na may sudyante kami. Naturo sa akin, meron sa abogado pa. Walang expiration ng warrant of arrest. After 10 days doon, you just need to report why hindi na-serve ang warrant. Tapos issuean ka ng alias warrant. Ang warrant o search warrant siya ang merong expiration. Good for 10 days only. Maliwanag? Kasi pag forever na search warrant, aba, kalubugin mo, agad gusto mo. O pag kripan mo lang, kalubugin mo na naman. Violation yun ng kanyang karapatan. Yung domicile niya. Tama? Walang, walang trespassing na kakaso, ha? Trespass to dwelling. Sanay tayo, eh, no? Ha? Subong mo sa akin namaya, ha? Hindi, joke ko lang. Chat na lang mamaya, kung ano may tanong mo. Investigate and prevent crimes. Effect the arrest of criminals. Bring offender to justice and assist in the prosecution. And then to assist other national government agencies, instrumentalities, subsidiaries, in the enforcement of laws pertinent thereto upon proper request and or death 
deputization. And lastly, under the Constitution, detain and arrest person for a period not beyond what is prescribed by law, informing the person to so detain of all his right under the Constitution and pertinent laws. Now, yung mahalagang oras na hawak ng polis pag nag-arok niya ang tao. Sa Jubilee, 8 hours. Sa adult offender, suspect. Ano yun? 12, 18, 36. Less serious, less grave, tsaka grave offense. Depende, ha? Hello! Bakit tumalaba sa mga exam lagi yan? Nakataya ang polis dyan. Pwede siyang kasuhan. Kapi? Pag ikaw ay in uniform, ang kaso sa'yo ay? Ha? Illegal? Arbitrary detention. Lumalabas lagi yan sa board kasi nga nakataya ang polis dyan. Pag ikaw ay law enforcer, na-overdue ang pag-detain mo sa tao, arbitrary detention. Pag ikaw ay private person, private citizen, illegal detention. Bakit? The right of the liberty. Ang to liberty ng isang tao. Tandaan niya na, dahil niya ay nasa kanyang human rights. Can you follow? Administrative function ng police. Number one, sila ang nag issue ng licenses for the possession of firearms and explosive in accordance with the law. Hindi ka pwedeng magkamit ng baril at ng pagpasabog ng hindi ka inilisensyahan ng police. Because they are the one to organize or to oversee that. Supervise and control the training and operation of the security agencies, security guards, and private detectives for the practice of their profession. Bakit? Tandaan nyo, one of the auxiliary ng police ay ang security guard. Mga blue army. O, oh, di ba? During war! They will be part of our military. O, maybe, o enforcer natin. Aarawasan din sila para dyan. ROTC, CAD, at alam nyo ba na kasama ang junior police o ang mga police intern? Interns kapag ka war, part din ang auxiliary yan. Taong sa atin ay mga force multiplier. 